Hi guys, here is Julie from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit the lazy sweater. This sweater is very easy to make. It all worked in the gardener stitch. It's oversized, size medium and a little bit cropped. So I was born and grew up in Romania and I learned how to knit as a little girl and my mom told me this stitch was called the lazy stitch so that's why I came up with the idea of the lazy sweater okay so let's see what we need and jump into the tutorial okay so the materials that I'm going to use today to make this sweater I have here my yarn, it is 100% acrylic yarn, a paint box, um, recommender needle, it's a 5mm, it has 100 grams and 184 meters, it's a category 4, so you are going to need a lot of them. In addition to the yarn, you are also going to need a 5 and a 4mm um, knitting needle, measuring tape, yarn needle, scissors and probably some stitch markers. Okay, so let me clear this off and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to work a small sampler with you to show you how to start your panels. So you are first going to make the back panel. This is just a big rectangle for my size. So I have a size medium and I want my sweater to be um, slightly oversized. My panel measures 55 centimeters and my bust measurement is 90 centimeters. I've started, I've casted on a total of um, 100 stitches and then I've worked first um, the elastic band, the ribbing for a total of 24 rows and then I continue on with the gardener stitch and work all straight till I have, so my gardener stitch I worked a total of 97 rows and the high of my back panel so of my panels it's also 50 five centimeters okay now let me show you how to start your panels okay so to make the ribbing you are going to take your four millimeter knitting needle and your yarn and I like to double them to cast on So for your panel you are going to cast on a total of 100 stitches so this is my first stitch just to secure my work this is how I like to start you don't have to do this and now I'm just going to uh, cast on a few stitches so the first stitch you are going like so to cast on and the next one like so and cast on so cast on 100 stitches okay and now we are going to start with the ribbing so pull up out one of your knitting needles like so 
And now we are going to knit one and then purl one. Knit one and purl one. Knit one and purl one. Okay, so work like this till the end of your row. And purl one, it's your last stitch. Now turn your work. And again, now we are going to work the stitches that we have. So we are going to start with knit one and then purl one. Knit one and purl one. Knit one, purl one. Okay, and again, you are working with your four millimeter knitting needles, okay? Now work like this for a total of 24 rows. I'm going to work a few more rows of camera and then I'll meet you back for the gardener stitch. Okay, now once you have where your um, 24 rows, we are going to start working with the gardener stitch. This is a very simple stitch. You are knitting all the way, so on the front and also on the back side of your work. And then it's going to look like so. See on the both sides. Okay, so I always like to start my first stitch, so I'm going to knit all the way so i'm putting my working yarn in front of my work and pick up this stitch like so and then put the working yarn behind of my work and start knitting so you are knitting all of your stitches so again you have a total of 100 stitches And now for the next row, turn your work and you are also going to knit all of your stitches. By the way, I forgot to mention you are working with your four, uh, five millimeter um, knitting needles, okay? And then the next row. And this is how you are going to work all the way up till you have a total of 97 rows. I'm going to work another row with you. So I'm knitting all of my stitches. You can also take your stitch from here if you like so. Or like me. It's that it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is it, this is all you need to do, so work your rows, 97 rows.
and then meet me back and I'm going to show you how to make your front panel okay now for the front panel you are also going to start working on the ribbing so you are going to cast on a total of 100 stitches and then work your ribbing so knit one per one knit one per one for a total of 24 rows and then you are going to take your 5 mm crochet hook and start working on the gardener stitch for a total of 50 rows and then you are going to start decreasing for the um, um, neck opening so I want to have a V-shaped opening I love V-shaped openings so I'm going to do a V-shaped opening I already worked uh, one side of the panel one shoulder side so you are going to start with row 51 okay those are 50 rows and then start decreasing with your row 51 now obviously on this side you are going to decrease on this side and on the other side we are going to decrease like so so I'm going to Uh, bring in my yarn again so I'm going to weave in um, this one here later on and we are going to decrease each second row So now this one here is going to be a decrease row so I'm going to work my first two stitches and then knit two together to decrease and now knit all of your remaining stitches till the end so this is row 51 okay okay now the next row we are going to knit all of our stitches no decreasing just knit your stitches till the end of the row And now turn your work now again you are going to decrease so knit your first two stitches and now decrease by knitting two together just like so and then you are going to continue on with your remaining stitches now to uh, finish your front panel so again both of my panels they are 55 centimeters wide and 55 centimeters long so you worked first 50 rows with your garner stitch so this means you need to work um, 47 rows to achieve the same length you are going to decrease for a total of 24 times and then you are going to end up with 26 stitches since you have on one side 50 stitches and on the other side you are also going to have 50 stitches so um, once you've reached your length so you are going to have a total of 26 stitches and then you are going to turn your work and cast off and leave a long tail for the 
um, shoulder seam okay so I'm going to work my remaining rows of camera and then I'll meet you back for the sewing and also how to make your sleeves and of course we are also going to work around our neck opening okay so after finishing your back and your front panel you are going to make your shoulder seams and for this you are going to lay your back panel and your front panel like so the right side of the work is facing each other now let me see so this one is right side and this one is also the right side now you are going to take your um, long tail and thread your yarn needle and then with just simple stitching you are going to sew your shoulder seam so you are having 26 stitches in total okay so just like so See? okay so I'm going to make my shoulder seam of camera and then I'll meet you back once I have this done okay so to make your sleeves I've already made one the sleeve I've worked all of the sleeve with my 5 um, millimeter uh, knitting needle if you like you can work your wrist with your 4 mm anything meter so I've worked a total of 10 rows in knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one and then I've worked the remaining sleeve in the gardener stitch so uh, knit all of your stitches and all of your rows for a total of 93 rows Okay, so I've already started my second sleeve. I cast off a total of 40 stitches and then worked, as I said, 10 rows with knit one, purl one. And now we are going to make one increased row. So I'm going to increase from 40 stitches to 60 stitches so this means we need to add a total of 20 stitches so now we are going to knit all the way so this is my first stitch one two and now we are going to make one increase so for this I'm going to go right here in between my stitches and pick up this loop and knit one the next stitch one and two and between my stitches pick up this loop and increase once and now I'm working again two stitches and in between pick up this loop and knit one to increase one and two increase one and two and increase okay so work like this till you are at the end of the row and then you're going to have a total of 16 uh, 60 stitches now work the garner stitch till you have a total of 93 rows
okay now it's time to work around our neck opening so we have this v-shaped opening and now you are going to work into each row so remember you have on one side 47 stitches so go ahead in the middle of your v-stitch and uh, join your yarn so I'm just going to make a knot and then weave this in later on and now take your 4 millimeter so your 4 millimeter knitting needle and now you are going to work your stitches so you are going to have a 40 uh, seven on each side and in the middle so on the back panel you are going to pick up um, 48 stitches okay so I'm going to knit in each of my row just like this okay so this is one stitch and then go into your next row and knit one and then in the next row you can really see where your rows are Okay, so work like this and I'll meet you back here. Okay, now from now on we are going to start working in knit one per one and we are also going to start decreasing. So first work two stitches. So we are going to decrease on at the at the beginning and at the end but first knit one pull one and now knit two together just like so and you've decreased and now pull one knit one pull one and repeat these steps till you have four stitches left so at the end of the row we are going to have four stitches left and then you are going to knit two together and work your remaining two stitches okay so see I have these four stitches left right here my last stitch was a pearl one now I'm going to knit two together to make my decrease then pearl one and knit my last stitch and now turn your work and now we are going to start again with the row so work your first two stitches and now you need to make one decrease so I'm going to knit these two together and then for my next stitch and also the knit one purl one continue on following with this pattern till you have four stitches left then you are also going to knit two stitches and work your remaining two stitches and work like this for as many rows as you need for your um, uh, neck opening so maybe you want to try this on so I'm going to work all of these rows of camera and then I'll meet you back to tell you how many rows I worked okay so I worked for a total of eight rows from the very beginning 
Now I'm going to, I'm on the right side of the work and then I'm going to uh, cast off all of my stitches. This is how I like to cast off. I know there are many different ways, but this is how I like to cast off, okay? So do this and meet me back again. Okay, now at this point we can close our um, color here so the back side of the work is facing me. Now you are going to put these two ends here together like so and with your left over yarn you are just going to sew all the way down and again I'm using just simple sewing stitches like so and now I'm also going to close this little gap here, see? Just like so. Okay, now go ahead, uh, go ahead and weave in your loose end and this is how it looks like. Now it's time to attach your sleeves. Okay, so you are going to need um, three stitch markers. And I've already put one of my stitch marker right here where the shoulder um, seam is. And now take your sleeve so now the right side of the work is facing me, so make sure that the right side of the sleeve is also going to face you. And first fold this like so in half to find out where the middle of the sleeve is. And now hold the middle of the sleeve like so and attach this stitch marker right here and also attach your other two stitch markers this is how it's going to look like and then sew the sleeve onto your front and back panel with simple stitches and um, don't take too much material so go just under one loop you don't want to have these um, chunky seams and then once you've attached both your sleeves you are going to make your sewing on the sleeve and also on the side within all of your loose ends and then you're good to go Thank you all for watching and for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And also ring the bell to get notified when I upload something new. And I see you soon with a new one. Bye bye.